welcome to my channel. Um, I watch these toy videos all the time, so I thought I would make a video about my McDonald's collection. Um, my collection is messy, unorganized, I don't know what I have. Um, so I thought it would be kind of fun for you to see and go, darn, I'm glad my collection is not that messy type of video. And come with me and we'll go through my collection, see what I have, what sets I have, what I need to complete a set, and some things I probably need to get rid of. But sit back and be thankful your collection doesn't look like this. All right, so here's my collection. Collection's a loose term. We're gonna go with hoarding. I have this compulsion every time I see McDonald's toys and Goodwill, Savers, Salvation Army, um, yard sales, I buy the toys. I love McDonald's toys. But my toys, as you can tell, are not organized. So, this is them in the boxes. Now I have to dump them and start sorting them and see what I've got. Because this is going to be a long process. Alright, I am busting out the COVID gloves. These are nasty. Okay, so this is what I have so far out of the boxes. I still have one, two, three, four, five tubs and one more box to open over there. Um, some of them you can see I have in the bags. I started sorting them a while ago. Some of them are over there, but most of these are unsorted in here. So um, like I said, I still have the one, two, three, four, five tubs and that one box over here to go. I think though I might stop dumping and then start sorting but i wanted to show you here this is floor level how high it looks so far it's going to take me forever to get this done So I'm getting closer. I have one, two tubs left, and then I've moved a bunch of bagged ones over here. Um, but getting closer, so this is what I'm at so far. I had to go get myself some dinner. Hopefully it's Guardians of the Galaxy. pushing me back to the wall behind all my McDonald's toys. Now there's some over here and some over here. I'm not sure if you can see them in the view, um, but some of them I had, like I said, years ago, I started getting together and then just kind of forgot about it and just started throwing them in tubs and everything like that. You know, some of the ones I really looked for and took care of was my teeny beanies because they're plush, they get dirty easy. So um, these aren't separated, but they're in the thing there. And then the Avengers Endgame, you know, so I started separating these because they're so big and bulky. So I have some of these, but I do have a bunch in here that are not separated. So I do have a couple packs of the Avengers Endgame and there's actually a set of 24. So um, what else do I have here? All right, so I'm gonna get started. Ooh, Scooby-Doo. Stuck. I'll have y'all know I'm stuck. This is stuck. Well, somebody went off in there. I heard the music. So the pile is actually getting a little smaller. Um, that little black dotted thing are toys that are not McDonald's, Pez's, things like that that don't belong in here. Um, so that's another one that doesn't belong. So it's getting better. So it's getting a whole lot better. 
and it's been like five hours and I'm tired. So, but it's getting better and I'm going to take a break. Good morning. I stayed up till three o'clock in the morning last night working on this big pile of toys. And this is what I have left. Um, I got up this morning, made some French toast, watched Infinity Wars, painted my nails, and now I'm back at it. So this is all I have left. These are kind of like odds and ends ones. I'm not sure what to do with them, where they're going. Um, those bags here were items that were not McDonald's toys. So there's some interesting things in there. I'll have to go through that. But this is what I have left. And um, I think right now, for right now, I'm just going to put them in a big box and just worry about those later. So I'm going to start separating um, and seeing what I have and what I don't have. Okay, so it is Monday night. I sorted all day Sunday. I watched um, in games and then Saturday night till three in the morning and I watched Infinity War. So um, I have 50,000 million little Ziploc bags everywhere and the big gallon sizes and the big, you know, two gallon ones. But um, I thought I would start with the easiest, which is these card sets. So this is the 2022 Pokemon packs. There is generally 10 boxes in a set. I'm missing one, two, nine, and 10. So I'm missing four boxes and I have two of the spares. Um, I have two of these, of each of these. I opened um, two boxes up and gave them to my nephew. Um, and then I have these. These are just random Pokemon cards that I'll pick up and just stick in a pack and save them. So i um, not sure what I have, um, but I just save the cards when I see them. So um, I won't open these ever. Um, I'm just not into Pokemon. I do like the art on the covers, um, but I won't open them up and mess with them or anything like that. They'll just stay like this forever, I guess. Um, but this is all I have for Pokemon. Um, like I said, I'm missing four boxes and it's a 10 box set. So the next set is the 2019 The Lego Movie 2 distributed by Warner Brothers Pictures. So these are kind of cute. They come in a set of eight, and they look like um, maybe backpack clips. Um, but I only have one, two, three, and five. So I'm missing the rest of them. And these are all seals, so I'm just missing the other ones. I'm missing four, six, seven, and eight. So this is Emmett. And this one was open, So, but I looked, he's kind of like a, I guess he's like a puzzle, one of those puzzles you move the pieces around. So, um, but this is Emmett. This is Wild Style. It's got the wild hair with the neon streaks in it. Um, I'm not sure what she does, um, but she's number two. Number three is Wonder Woman. So I'm not sure what's in them. I just saw that one was open. And this one is Sweet Mayhem. So, like I said, these are backpack clips. So I guess the puzzle, this one, like I said, is open. So the puzzle looks kind of cute. It's just one of those move arounds to you make the picture type puzzle. I don't know if that's in every one of them, but that's kind of fun for kids to do. I mean, it's it's something to do other than just um, sitting there and looking at it. You can actually do something with your hands with it. So that's kind of neat. Um, like I said, if I can figure out how to put a picture, I'll put a picture somewhere of what it looks like. Um, you know, the presentation when they're all new, I guess the McDonald's advertisement, I'll kind of put that somewhere. So like I said, this is a Warner Brothers 2019, the Lego Movie 2, and this is all I have for that set. Okay, so the next set is the 2020 DreamWorks Spirit Riding Free. It is after Spirit Stallion of the Cimarron. So they come in a set of six and they're just little horse characters. Um, little horse figures. They really don't do anything. This one is the only one that moves, see? Um, but the first one is Spirit, and I actually kind of like this one. He looks really pretty. See his face? How nice. Some good details on him. His legs, back legs move, I guess, to stand up. Nope, not stand up. Nope, he doesn't stay up. But his back legs move, so maybe he can do like that. So he's kind of pretty. So I like him. He's the first one, Spirit. Um, mystery is sealed. Mystery looks like a, I guess it's, what do you call it, a palomino? Or apple, a palomino, appaloosa, I'm not sure. But it's really pretty. Um, but this one has a tail that's um, 
hair tail that they you can comb and brush so but this one is still sealed in the pack this was number two it's mystery okay number three is chica linda so this one the front leg here moves here and that's pretty much it she's kicking another horse so the thing i don't like about them is if you look on the other side you've got these big old holes where they sealed them up screwed them together there's there screws in there so it's kind of ugly so i guess you just have to turn them around this way now they're pretty so that's chica linda this is boomerang i like him he's really pretty look at his eye i like the the color on the eye there but again the big screws be kind of cool if they you know patched them up or something but he's really pretty um his head moves so that's about all he does but you know you can little kids can pretend their horse is running so that's that's not bad um this is spirit with um the hair tail that you can comb i don't have any of the combs or i may have them and i don't know what they went to so um but it's just hair and the hair kind of gets um he doesn't do anything you can you can brush his hair hair kind of gets um a little ratty look at that so um but if you comb it it's probably going to be really pretty so that is spirit with a comb and the last one is like a little it's like a pony it's not really a horse it's a pony um it's called governor and his little legs move like this so that's about all he does um if I can figure out how to do it, I will insert a picture. I have a picture on my laptop of all these sets, um, so I know as a reference guide. So if I can figure it out, I will insert a picture so you can kind of see what they look like when they're like fresh and new. And this is what I have. But I do have a complete set, but Mystery's in a pack. So, um, but the other ones are a complete set. So this is 2020 DreamWorks Spirit Riding Free. And it's not bad. It's like Briar's horses from the 80s, you know? Kids collected Briar's horses, so I think they're kind of pretty. Okay, so the next set is the 2021 Disney Pixar Luca. I really like this movie. Um, it was a real fun movie, and the, the toys are really kind of fun in a way, too. It comes in a set of eight. I have two in a pack, and I'm missing the fish. The elusive fish. I've never seen the fish, but I'm missing the fish. So we have Luca Green as he's a little sea character. I'm not going to say monster, a little sea character. So he's kind of cute. They really don't do anything though. I mean, his tail just kind of, I don't know what you're supposed to do. His tail, maybe not like that. Maybe his tail, his tail just kind of spins. Uh, he's not very fun. So he's green. And I think her name is Gulia, Gulia, can never pronounce her name. Um, her little arms move, um, but that's about all she does is her arms move in a circle. Okay, this is Alberto, out of the water. Um, I put him in cold water and he turns kind of purpley. So here's his hair that you can put on him. I guess when he turns purple and goes back to being a sea creature, you can put his hair back on him. But that is about it for him. He doesn't really do anything but turn purple, which is not bad, but you can't really play with that. So this is Luca. This is Luca out of the water. And he turns green when you put him in cold water. And this is his little hat. Although it's really kind of not very attractive, but this is his hat. And he doesn't really do anything either, but just kind of stand there. Some of them come with more than one piece, like this one right here. Is Luca and he has a tail and his hair. I keep saying hat, it's his hair. And um, you can put his tail on him when he um, turns green in the cold water and I guess he's supposed to be a sea creature again. So here is Alberto. Um, his teeth are kind of scary looking, aren't they? Wait, is his teeth like this? No, he's got a happy smile. His teeth are like, you know, creepy teeth. Um, that's all he does too. He just kind of turns in a circle too. So um, that's Alberto. This is Massimo. This is her father. And this is, wait, does he do anything? And his little feet move. That's it. His little feet move. So I wonder if his little feet move. Nope. 
So that is Massimo, which is her father. And then here is the cat, Machiavelli. And I don't think the kitty, he goes in water, you see here? And you can squirt the water out of his mouth by pushing the little button down here. But he's probably the funnest of them all because you can squish water and squirt it at people, but not a whole lot of water, but that is it. So, 2021 Disney Pixar Luca. If you have not seen this movie, it is so cute. Um, it reminds me of Wallace and Gromit, the, the, the way the characters look and the way they're drawn. It really reminds me of Wallace and Gromit, which I really like. So um, this is what I have. Like I said, I'm missing the fish, and I only have two in a pack. So hopefully I'll find the fish and complete a set. Okay, so I kind of just wanted to quickly show you how I'm going to be trying to keep track of all these and to see if I have complete sets or I don't know what my total to I kind of want to see how many total I have right now. Um, so when I put them together, I have these big Ziploc bags and then in the bags I'm putting like 2018 Incredibles 2 and then I'm listing what each one is so I know exactly which ones are in the bag. Um, and what goes in the set. So that's how I'm just putting them in the bags and these extra large um, Ziploc bags you get from Dollar Tree. They're like uh, two gallon bags or one gallon, they're huge. They're bigger than the normal bags. Um, so like I said, I just listen what they are here. And then on my laptop, I don't think you can really see it. I mean, let me see if I can, I don't think I can zoom in anymore. Uh, let's see, okay. So, on my laptop, and I'm going to wiggle this for a minute. Okay, so, like I have 2018, I have the name of the set, and then I have the number in the set, the number I have, what's missing in the set, total pieces, do I have a picture reference, and some notes. So, like this one, The Incredibles, I have, there's 10 in a set, I have 9, I'm missing the raccoon, I have 51 pieces, Yes, I have a picture and I have four in a package. I mean, four in a package, sealed. So that's how I'm kind of keep, keeping track of them um, on my laptop here. Um, so like this one, the Lego Movie 2, you know, eight in a set. I have four, the number I'm missing, all are sealed. And I have a total of five and I haven't looked for a picture reference yet. But on the picture references, I actually have a folder with all the pictures of the McDonald's toys and I started sticking them in some of them in individual folders um, you know uh, 2021 you know individual folders um, but this is what they are I just have a picture reference of every one so I can make sure I have what I need um, to see if I have the pieces so these are the ones I have so far um, so there's I have set not sets I have pieces to all these so um, but I don't know, I don't have complete sets, but at least these all have pieces to it. But um, I just wanted to let you know, this is how I am keeping track of my collection um, to try to make it a little bit better, a little bit um, more streamlined so I know what I'm missing. So when I do sort through the next five boxes, if I'm missing number, I have number four of a Lego, I can say, okay, well, I'm missing that one and I can take it off and then I know I have five pieces and I'm only missing three. So that's how I'm going to try to keep track of it. But I just wanted to show you that. And I think I'm going to stop filming for the day. Um, I really appreciate you watching. Um, there's probably going to be a part two, three, four, five, because um, you saw the pictures. I have, this did not even make a dent. This isn't even one tub, the ones I filmed so far. It's like half a tub. So um, I have a lot more to film. Um, like I said, a lot of um, missing pieces. Um, but this is kind of giving me an idea of what I have and um, hopefully you're kind of enjoying it a little. So thanks and I will see you in part two.